Hey guys, welcome back. Now in this lecture, we are going to visualize our bubble sort algorithm. So I'm going to use a tool called Visual Algo. I strongly recommend to try it yourself also. Just jump onto this website. This tool is absolute magic. It helps you to visualize each and every algorithm with your input. So here I'm taking another unsorted list and I'm only taking five elements so I can explain this tool as well as the bubble sort. Remember with bubble sort, we compare with adjacent element and then we swap. So let us start with index 0 and index 1. And if 9 is greater than 5, we are going to swap. Now move with next index, which is index 1 and 2. And compare if 9 is greater than 1, then we swap. Compare again, swap again, compare again, swap again. So this was our first iteration cycle. Here you can see we are now collecting our sorted elements. Now let's compare 5 and 1. Swap. Here index 0 is greater than index 1. We swap. Compare 5 and 4 and swap. Compare 5 and 3 and swap. So with our second iteration cycle, we have two sorted elements and three unsorted one. Now let's move forward and compare index 0 and index 1 again. Here you can see index 0 is smaller than index 1, so no swap. Now compare index 1 and 2, we need to swap again. And here with this iteration cycle, index 4 is now part of sorted list. Now moving forward, we have to compare index 0 and index 1. And here we don't have any swap. Now 1 and 3 is in the final sorted list. So that's how we are going to compare and sort each element. One thing I am going to recommend you after this lecture, jump onto this tool and try it yourself. This is going to help you and understand each and every algorithm with visuals. I hope this lecture was helpful and now you are able to understand bubble sort very well. So in the next lecture, let us jump onto our IDs and start writing code for our algorithm. Thank you for following. See you in the next one.